Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. So I have a Dollar Tree review update of the things that I have been hauling this last week. The first thing I was quite excited about, this is the e.l.f. Kiss It Goodbye Lip Color Remover. This is what the package looks like. It says it helps remove lip sting and long-lasting lipsticks. So this is an oil-based formula and it gently breaks down and removes color. This is the tube that it comes in, so it's, it's clear. I did put it on my lips and I also put it on my hand. The color that I did use was the Dose of Colors. This is Date Night. This stuff, I love this stuff, but it does stain my lips. It's hard, it's bright. It's kind of like, yeah, I mean, can you guys see how bright color that is? It's definitely a dark color and does stain my lips. So I applied it on my lips and also on my hand and then waited till it dried down, waited a little bit, and then I added a little drop of this on my hand and it did break down the color. I was a little worried though because the color kind of went everywhere as far as my like lips to it kind of like it went, it was a little messy. And so I was like, oh no, is it gonna take it off? Is it gonna stain like my face? But it didn't, you guys. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. So if you are someone who loves really, you know, lip stains and dark colored lipstick and it kinda is really hard to get off, even great makeup wipes and removers, sometimes it's hard to get off the lipstick. So this stuff did amazing. So if you guys have tried it, and you have hard makeup like lipstick and it's hard for you to get, get off, let everybody know how it worked for you. Did it not work on a certain brand too? See, I don't know that. It worked on those of colors perfectly, but if there is a brand and you've tried it and it didn't do that for your brand, let everybody know too. But for the dose of colors, at least it did take it off and it didn't stain. And I was, I'm quite impressed. So I'll definitely be going to get some more. So if you see it, I say pick it up it is well worth a dollar. So the next thing I want to review is the Arm & Hammer Essentials. This is their free of aluminum and parabens. This is fresh rosemary lavender. Oh, this stuff is so good. I love this stuff. So if you're looking for a really good deodorant, I, oh you guys, it smells so good. And it did perfect for me. It kept me dry and the smell on it just smells amazing. So if you're looking for a new deodorant, I highly recommend this. I absolutely love it. The smell alone is just great. And if you can get deodorant at a dollar, I think that's a great price. I love it. So if you try this, like with any of my reviews, let everybody know as well too, because this is just my opinion, but this stuff is amazing. Next thing I wanted to talk about is their Global Beauty Care. This is the Rose face mask and this is what it looks like so it's got it's like a little gel formula and it does come with an applicator right here I had no problems with it I I like to do face masks but the messy ones I like to do in the baths of like med masks or anything I'm really gonna have to scrub off I'll do those in the bathtub but if I want to do if I don't want to do a paper mask I like this because it's it's not messy and it dries down really good. It doesn't make it sticky. It doesn't, it's just kind of nice. So it doesn't really have a scent. It, it says rose, but it doesn't really smell. I mean, for a dollar, it's okay. I've, honestly, I feel like my skin didn't really feel any different. Some uh, other masks, I feel different with and this I didn't so but I've only used it one time so I'll continue to be using this and I'll give you an update first impressions though it was just okay for me I do like the fact that it's not messy and I don't have to be in the bathtub to do it because I like I said I like those messy masks I usually do in the bathtub but we shall see it was just okay um, is it worth a dollar? I don't know. I think the paper masks, I feel better. My skin feels better when I use them, but I'll continue to use it. The jury is still out. If you've tried it, please let everybody know, but 
it was just okay. I don't really, so far, nothing, but like I said, it's been one time, so we shall see. So my last review is these Crayola bath little bath bombs. So we have the grape scented, we have the cherry scented, and strawberry scented, and then there is the cotton candy scented. Do not buy the cotton candy. It was not, oh, it, all of them were shaped like a heart. The cotton candy was pink, but it was like a lighter pink than this one. It didn't really have a scent, and when we dropped it into the bath, it didn't really fizz. It just didn't, it, it was like I kind of threw my dollar away with that. It didn't really do anything. Now the grape did, it did turn the water purple, and you definitely can smell grape. So. If you're kind of on the fence and you're like, well, I really don't need all four of them, I would do the grape or maybe the, the cherry scented because it's darker in color and you can definitely smell it. So those two would be good. The strawberry was okay, but definitely skip over the cotton candy. It wasn't that great. So they were okay. They were just okay for me. I think the other ones at the Dollar Tree are a little bit better. The round ones that are Crayola, those work a lot better in my opinion for these. But like I said, anything that I'm showing and I'm telling you my opinion on, let everybody know too if you've had other you know, opinions or did they work better for you, but the cotton candy just didn't do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscription button on the way out. Click the little bell so you're notified and I will see you guys next time. Bye.